What's going on? Druid here, and it's week three of Patheon, and this is what you're gonna need. So starting off, before you hop into the next Patheon, you're gonna stop by good old Lord Shax and pick up the next exotic uh, quest thing to do Patheon. Kind of like how we did Patheon for week one, where you finished it and you got to pick up the exotics from the raids that you like you ran through, which was, I believe, uh, week one was Eyes Tomorrow and Touch of Malice, and I believe this week you'll be getting those and also, um, the vow exotic so don't forget to kind of run that if you don't have the vow exotic definitely a perfect chance to go do that coming into this third week of patheon and the special modifier is going to be classy warfare coming back at it again for the third week i mean second week was entirely something different so i'm just glad to see classy uh, uh class warfare come back in i really loved it um, from my sources say is that it's 20 and stacks all the way to 60 when you get to times three and that's as high as it can go. Um, if I am wrong and it is just a flat 20 overall, still pretty good. Just, um, just note that it does stack with literally everything. With the surges of this Pantheon, it's going to be arc and stasis. But if you are the people that I know, and I'm one of them. If you have been grinding out Edge Transit and have Whisper the Worm, you are A-OK -okay to run the entire thing. You don't need to go and match the surges. But if you do, it's probably going to be best to run Hothead and Galahorn for most of it. Obvi obviously, um, Atrax with Parasite and Whisper the Worm just cooks um, orcs. So you're, you're pretty much good. You're solid there. Um, for Rolk, uh, this is where uh, you probably want to know what's different with Rolk. What what's, what do we got to do for Rolk? So starting off with Rolk, uh, when you are getting the symbols to dunk and when you got done dunking, uh, you know the... Okay, so what's going on is there's going to be a torment to the spawns and that takes the place of the behemoth uh, thing, my bobber, the... The, the tumor of the scorn, the big one. Um, he's going to replace that guy and he's going to come down in the middle and pretty much fuck you up. So what you need to do is from what I've seen from a lot of teams is run divinity, pop his shoulders and use divinity and have the entire team focus on that tormentor. Once you're done, don't. this will help definitely get him out of the way. So you don't have to worry about him just roaming around. So what happens when we're getting ready for boss DPS on Rolk? Well, when Rolk starts, you know, dancing around and you had to get his glaive, he will then summon a shadow Rolk or a clone Rolk. This Rolk is immune and its main job is to roam around and kick you. It is meant to make you keep moving around, can't just stay still. It is meant to move around and do that. When it comes to DPS, he does not disappear. He stays around in the arena and kicks you. He's immune. Like I said, you cannot damage the fake Rolk. And yes, the fake Rolk will try its best to get in the middle of everything for DPS. And you can kill yourself with a fake Rolk. Now, when it is final stand, the fake Rolk does go away. And it's just you versus Rolk. Just note that. So pretty much it for day one of the new Patheon. I hope everyone has a good time, gets uh, gets their run in. Um, definitely can't wait to get my team in and do this uh, this Rolk run. Uh, hope to see you all later. Definitely there will be a video of my clan running that. I hope you guys kind of like those. I know I've been kind of slacking on the content, but I hope to see you guys later. Other than that, peace.